Okay, this is only a quick um, impromptu video. Um, I had a guy um, from uh, America send me three crossovers from a pair of, or a set of three <laughs> KEF Reference 101 speakers, and they needed recapping, but on the protection circuit, um, there are a couple of capacitors, C5 and C4. They are both um, 100 microfarad, and on his, they had leaked. Um, all of them had leaked and completely eaten through the circuit board behind. Um, I'm going to put a picture up of those now. So uh, another guy dropped off um, on Thursday a pair of KEF reference 103s. And the issue was the woofer had stopped working on one of them and the protection LED had come on. <coughs> so there's the other over there. And the crossover board is basically identical. Um, I think all the components, um, or the, the board is certainly the same. Components are different here. We've got two 300 microfarad really large caps. I, I suspect they're like a subsonic filter. Um, whereas on the other we had a 100 and a 300, so totaling 400. Um, resistor value different here. Um, capacitor values are different. Um, yeah, so whilst the board is the same, the values are very different. But I suspect the protection circuit is almost identical. Um, but on this one, the same thing had happened. So what had stopped the woofer working was here we've got our... Um, connections going out to our woofer and this track here where the capacitor is had been eaten through and eventually if you can see that we had just eaten through so he was listening to it one day um, that track had obviously got thinner and thinner and thinner and with a bit of load it had just burnt through so this is obviously a really common problem um, and whilst those capacitors failing won't stop the speaker working the corrosion can eat through the tracks there. So um, if you've got these, I would suggest you get that looked at ASAP because I've now had three crossovers sent from America with that issue. And a few days later, strange how the world works, um, these dropped off with the same issue. So thankfully I've got a load of those caps, but um, yeah, that's the fix. Clean your tracks up. Um, you, if you're careful, you can see what went where. Um, I'll put a photo up of the repair I do. Um, I use the legs of the new capacitors to kind of uh, remake the tracks um, and just some little jumper wires as needed. But uh, yeah, there we go. A little quick video, but um, as I found this problem on a number of speakers, I thought I would um, quickly do a video. I'm not actually going to do a, a video on, on these. Um, they use KEF's B200 woofer, this um, kind of triangular um, chassis with their, um, I think it's Bextreen cone. Um, so yeah, nice sturdy cabinets, a um, lot of fill inside them. So yeah, pretty good. Sun's got to them as you can see here, um, where the cover's been on, this is still a darker colour. Or, um, yeah, or well, that's stained, one of the two. But, um, yeah, be mindful of that if you have these that protection circuit. I would imagine any KEF speakers using this protection circuit probably use that um, circuit arrangement and probably those caps. So uh, check it or drop us an email if you want to post them for checking. Right, so that's the repair. New capacitors in and if that focuses, I know I'm very close close up um, yeah so I've used the legs to um, kind of replace the tracks really so um, I use one of these um, wire kind of mini wire brush scratch pens to clean everything off um, be mindful of the tracks around the um, capacitors as well because it might not not just be uh, the ones directly associated with it for example this one here had been eaten through so I've run a jumper um, sometimes there's enough of the track left for you to reflow it all with solder, um, like I've done there. 
but yeah so new capacitors in there um, yeah it just seems to be those two that that leak out so they're these horrid little things um, they're only 10 volt rated 100 microfarad I'm replacing them with these 100 microfarad 50 volt jobbies they're polarized as well so um, yeah be mindful of, of that the um, positive and negative are noted underneath on the board so you can so you know which way to put them in but yeah there we go okay cheers yeah so there we go 100 hertz on the signal generator our woofer is working again Perfect. Right, let's um, do the same with the other. I'm going to um, replace those capacitors regardless, so all good. I suspect it's going the same way. All right, cheers for watching this one.